second lecture we have discussed uh, of uh, about how to set up that TSP kit and how to uh, use that example programs how to uh, use example programs with a kit how to uh, blink the LEDs and uh, how to use the DIP switches and, and uh, other uh, modules of the kit so uh, our next step in this video lecture is to make a new project we will make our own project it's uh, it is not like uh, making a project uh, means going on the project and uh, making a new project and uh, it's all over uh, there are some uh, header files and some library files that needs to include uh, for this kit. There are some BSL files, board support library files and chip support library uh, files that needs to include in the project. Uh, for that, uh, actually uh, the DSPs uh, of TI, uh, they have their own operating system that is called DSP BIOS operating system. Uh, uh, so if we are making a new project we have two options if we if we want to use the DSP bias operating system we can make the new project uh, with using DSP bias or without using DSP bias means that uh, DSP bias operating system has the same capabilities uh, as a general operating system like it can do scheduling memory management uh, and uh, all other tasks so uh, in this lecture we'll make project with a DSP bias or without DSP bias so firstly we'll make a project without DSP bias for that uh, we have to go on the uh, in the CCS studio we have to click on the project and we have to click on the new project so we have to write just uh, our project name so we can write it as a sample project uh, without DSP bias okay so this is the sample project without DSP bias so uh, the uh, second one is the location you can select your location so this is our location third one is project type and the target so here you have to take care we have to use the target 67 TMS is uh, 320 C67 so click on finish Oh, sorry. No. Uh, sample project without OS. Oh, so we can just write without operating system. So we have to click here. Then after we have to finish it. So it will include a new project into your project directory here on the left side. So our next step is to go on the file because we need some source file. So go on new and select a new source file here. So this is our main C file where we have to write uh, all of our codes. So, uh, so this is our uh, untitled one. It's a default name. So we can save it. Control. We can press Control S or uh, using uh, s uh, going to file or click on save as. So we have to save it uh, in the project directory. Here we can give it. Uh, we have to go into that uh, project directory actually. So we can. Yes, here Six sample projects. So in this, we have to select our project name. In our case, I am going to use it as a LED dot C. Make sure we are using dot C extension here. So uh, next here to click on save. So we have made that uh, C file. So our next step is to include that C file into the project. So for that click on uh, right click on the project. Add files to the project. And select that particular C file. So then click on open here. Oh, 
so now we have uh, included our C file we'll, we'll uh, just add the code uh, in the later stage firstly we'll include the header and the uh, some library files so our next step is uh, to uh, right click on that sample project without OS and we have to go on build options here we have to select that particular target version we are using C671 we are not using C670 we are using C671 then after click on OK so uh, our next step is to again uh, one thing we have to do we have to go into the uh, actually we have provided that header files uh, and that uh, uh, you can uh, download these files from the internet also and uh, we are also providing uh, provide into the DVD so there are the header files uh, into the header files folder here so we have to go uh, into that folder and it, it depends upon us uh, whatever the uh, f uh, project we are going to make according to that we can select that uh, header files like it's for the DIP switches some is for the LED and it's for flash and for uh, AIC this is for Kodak so uh, generally we will include all the header files will include all the header files will copy these all header files into our project directory so we have to uh, include that header files into our project directory here so now our next uh, thing is to open that CCS and uh, right click on the project add files to project and we have to add all the header files into the project just click on files of type all files so here we have to include this one second one third one fourth one fifth and if you want to include this it's okay then click on open so now our next step is to include the library files uh, it's as it's as same as uh, we have copied all the header files from header files directory and copy into the project directory that same we have to do it for the library files we have to uh, go into the library files directory so we have to copy all these four library files and we have to go into that project directory and copy all into that so copy all these into the project directory uh, and same open the uh, after copying open the CCS studio go on to the sample projects add files to project and add all the header files one second one second third and fourth so open click on open so now we have included all the so now we have to include uh, all these header files into our main source file so we have to that same as us in the we are making some C codes just include include hash include uh, such so file name is uh, I think it's DSK uh, no I think it's 
डी एस के सिक्स सेवन वन थ्री डॉट एच वन इज दिस एंड सेकेंड वन इज द डी आई पी डॉट एच एंड थर्ड वन इज दी स्लैश डॉट एच एंड फोर्थ वन इज द एल ई डी डॉट एच सो दीज आर दी फोर हेडल फाइल्स दैट वी हैव टू इंक्लूड दैन वी हैव टू सेव दिस 